Imagine going to Paris from the United States. You remember your hotel name, your room, some random village called Camembert. That's cheesy. But when it comes to Paris, the only thing you can remember is eating a baguette. And that's what happened to me a few years ago, except that I flew to London and I have no memories of this city. Or do I? But first things first. I flew to the United Kingdom to meet with my sister, who used to live there. She was a housekeeper in a vacation rental huge house with 10 toilets. Imagine sleeping in different room every night. I mean, that's cool, but imagine peeing in different toilets every night. Those were her final days in the UK, so we decided to make the most of it. Cheers, sis. What are we gonna do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Nika. Try to take over the London. I used to buy chips with vinegar pretty much every day. And a lot of cherry pock. When I came back to my country, I looked after them for years. What I'm trying to say is that vinegar is so acidic, so sour in fact, that it is the only thing I can remember about London. Like, seriously. And London's Bridge? I've been there for sure, I have a photo of myself there. But what I can remember? Eating fish. Also, my first time speaking English in the very English speaking country. And didn't went as well as expected. There was that one time when the gardener came in and he was speaking very fast, with perfect British accent, using some old words. Basically, it went like this Oh, hello, sir. Hello, fly in this time, he'll throw run out of thy race. Uh, call on the lazy little stepping hours, whose spit is but the heavy plummet space. Uh, and glad thyself with what thy womb devours, which is no more than what has falls in vain, and mere immortal dross. So little is our loss, so little is thy gain. Could you repeat it, please? But after that, I asked him if he would like to drink some tea. He said yes, and I was so proud of myself that, that somebody finally understood my English. So proud, in fact, that I forget about my task. And till this day, he's waiting for his tea. Alright, so that's it of my very first animated story. If you like it, maybe consider subscribing. And tell me down in the comments what you think about this. And I will see you later. Goodbye.